Oscars is defined by its awards ceremony, which is broadcast from the Dolby Theatre here on Hollywood Boulevard to an audience of millions around the world. But it's an entertainment extravaganza which has struggled of late. There are nine strong films up for Best Picture this year, and nobody is complaining when it comes to the quality of movies being showcased in the world's longest-running awards show. So many great performances, so many great films, and it's really encouraging being a part of them. It's been an interesting year and a great year in cinema, I believe. But the focus of some concern is the ceremony itself. Although the audience was up last year, especially among young people, viewership in the US at least generally hovers around 40 million. The Oscars is not consistently building a bigger domestic audience. Outside Hollywood's famed Chinese theater, populated by movie character impersonators, there is a range of reactions to the forthcoming Oscar ceremony. Meow. Too excited. I can't wait to see all these famous people and all the beautiful faces that I've seen for many years, you know, and they come and they get their little thing that looks unusual, meow. But um, it makes us all happy, so I'm really excited about the Oscars. Meow. Mm. I usually don't watch, but I, this year I'm pretty excited because it has a lot of films that I'm interested in, like 12 Years Slave and um, a lot of different films, so um, hopefully this year it will live up to the expectations everyone's been telling me how good they've been in past years. But for some young people, the Oscars telecast is an old-fashioned, long-winded extravaganza. I think now you can just Google the results and be like, who won? And who had cool dresses? And who had terrible? It's just, you can do the internet and it's faster. So it's a long, it takes a long time. That's my message for the Oscars. It takes a long time. <laughs> Industry experts take the view that the Oscars show's producers are saddled with an awards format that's become tired. This format, came, the, the Academy came up with in 1953, and it really hasn't changed much. You get in one place, and you put all the cameras there, and you get people on stage. And I think, okay, it's not 1953 anymore, so I change it, but they, they don't want to change it. Academy members like film editor Lee Percy take the view that the ceremony has perhaps become too rigid. I remember in years past when um, th there were, was less control over the situation and Marlon Brando would have Sanchin Littlefeather accept the award or someone would get up and make a political statement. Or I think it was John Huston was maybe quite inebriated when he accepted his award for the Bible. And people would say that it, it insulted the dignity uh, of the Oscars. And certainly as an Academy member, I hold what the Academy does in the highest esteem. but. I think we can get a little carried away. It's also a challenge to get the host right. In recent times, there have been a variety of people in the job. Not all of them are success. This year, they're going with the tried and tested, Ellen DeGeneres, who hosted the Oscars once before in 2007. Ellen is a very reliable host, reliable to be funny, uh, reliable to be controversial without being offensive, uh, reliable on being the thought of host that Oscar always wants to have in front of the post podium. The size of the Oscars audience is often determined by the films that are nominated. When the mega-hit Titanic swept the board in 1998, ratings went through the roof. There's nothing like that this year, but the hope is that there will be some lively acceptance speeches, unpredictable events, and suspense to engage audiences. Even with its challenges, the Academy Awards still ranks as one of the highest rated programs on American television. But clearly, there's no room for complacency.